Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a tire jack beholder conversion kit. A couple of days ago, I got this message from the Gurks. Hope I said that right. The G Herks. Gurks. Wishing me a happy time with Captain Tommy. Captain Tommy and daughter are still here. They're uh, in between flights right now. Captain Tommy is. So he flies out of uh, an airport very close to here. So we are blessed to have them staying with us for a few more days. And since I'm on the topic of snipers and pistols, how about a little action with the tire conversion kit, the Jack Beholder rifle kit? So I said I would, and boy, am I glad I did. Thanks for the comment. This is an awesome weapon, as you're about to see. But first, let's look at the configuration. And after that, I'm going to compare this rifle to a marksman rifle, the KVD Enforcer, to see how they stack up against each other. But first, the all-important Jack Beholder Rifle Kit. And you can see what it does for this weapon. Let's start with the damage. Natively, the tire is 240 to the head, 180 to the upper torso. So it's a one-shot gack if you can hit the upper torso or above, but also huge damage, sniper-like damage to the lower torso and the upper legs. The effective damage range with this kit goes up 245%. Now that's a number that does make a difference. Almost 20 meters for the effective damage range and the minimum damage range up to 58.4 meters. And that came into play several times during my testing. Bullet velocity could be a bit quicker, but at 20 meters, 465 meters per second is going to be enough. The recoil gun kick is 45, 44 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil is significant, though. Something to consider. It's only 2.75 degrees per second, so it's going to be fairly accurate on the second shot. And that vertical recoil at 101 degrees per second is enough probably to scare a lot of people away, but it shouldn't. Have a look at my recoil testing with the tire jack beholder, and you'll see that the gun pretty much recenters itself after every shot. This is a very accurate hip fire weapon at 2.4 degrees per second minimum. If you're not moving, it's good. If you're moving too fast, 14.4 degrees per second. But I did get several hip fire shots, especially to the head. It's just amazing. It deletes people. And the tack stance, if you're doing that, you got the wrong weapon. When you look at the mobility, it's decent for a, a weapon with this kind of power with a movement speed at 5.2 meters per second. If you want to sniff your feet, you can do it fairly quickly at 2.3 meters per second. Sprint speed is okay at 5.6. Tack sprint speed, okay for a rifle at 6.8. ADS movement speed, that's a significant number, 3.7 meters per second. So you can bounce from side to side like a little jackrabbit if you want to. ADS speed, not great, 267 milliseconds. But remember, this is not a pistol anymore, it's a rifle. Kind of the movement speed of a pistol with the ADS of a rifle. The other significant number though, and you got to stop the presses on this one, is a sprint to fire speed of 69 milliseconds. So if you're going to use that hip fire spread of 2.4 degrees per second, pulling the trigger when somebody's close to you, they absolutely disappear. So let's take the tire with the Jack Beholder rifle kit onto the field of honor and see how it performed for Grandpa. There will be a bonus match where Captain Tommy also tried the tire with the Jack Beholder kit. And thank you to the Gurks. I appreciate the comment. I appreciate all of your comments. And if somebody asks to look at something, I generally go ahead and get it out as quickly as possible. Let's go see how this thing performed. Before we start shooting, let's have a look at the Jack Beholder compared to another marksman rifle, the KVD Enforcer. Pretty much meta for marksman rifles. Some people like the Car 98K. Yellow highlighted are things you should really look at. The fire rate, better for the tire, but the bullet velocity, much better for the KVD. Everything else goes to the tire. The headshot damage, 86 more, upper torso, 96, lower torso, 50, upper legs, 50. And I calculate the damage per second 
because all shots don't always hit the target. So you can see there's a significant advantage for the tire. When you look at ranges, the enforcer wins that one, but time to kill is a clear advantage within the effective damage range of 20 meters for the tire with the jack beholder kit. It is absolutely a quicker kill with the tire than it is with the KVD enforcer. I'm going to have to put my hat on backwards to get this one. That means Grandpa is serious about the competition. So let's look at recoil and performance. Once again, in recoil, the significant one to me was the horizontal recoil, and the tire is significantly better now. Vertical recoil shows at 101 degrees per second for the tire, but remember what I showed you in the shooting range. It pretty much comes back down, the tire does. Hip fire spread is much better for the tire, as is movement speed across the board and ADS movement speed, which is absolutely a significant number to look at. Sprint to fire speed is also a universe better for the tire. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if you're on a medium to small map, the tire is the best weapon that you can have with you. Now have a good primary weapon because you only get five shots, but the tire absolutely deletes people anywhere from 20 meters closer. And if you get a head shot, I got several long shots with the tire in the head, one shot kills. As long as you hit your shots, Oh, the obligatory knifer. There is always one in every game. Actually, there's two or three now in every game because knifing is so easy in this title. It is so overpowered. In fact, Captain Tommy and I were talking, and we both think that, and I've thought this for a while, by the way, that knifing should be a two-hit kill. It is so easy, and with 150 health, it is difficult to kill a knifer, but... If you're head on with the tire, jack beholder or not, you're going to one shot that knifer if you hit him in the upper torso or above. Okay, there's a knifer chasing a knifer. I did put the black light to see the footsteps. I tested that over mission control and I actually left it on. Well, there's a miss. Because I, I really like it in free-for-all. And sometimes you just, when you're out of bullets, you better pull out the, the primary weapon. In this case, it's a Superi SMG. The other thing that I learned is when you need to reload, you better be somewhere safe. You can't be running around reloading. Only thing that holds this weapon back, but does it hold it back from being the best? I don't think so. Not in this situation. One shot, two shot. Aim with your feet. And Captain Tommy will have a bonus game after the F4 pops its chute and rolls on the runway. There's a miss. Aim with your feet. Oh, miss. Miss. What the heck? Just pull out the superior. I'm not going to miss with that. So you do have to be accurate with your shots. And... For these games, I set the horizontal sensitivity at 7 and the vertical at the normal 4 to 5 for me. But you need a little extra sensitivity in the horizontal side of things because guys that are running quickly, you need to be able to track them. And you will track them and you will gack them. I don't know where I'm getting shot from. See if I can figure out some situational awareness. There, the mosquito drone, delete a knifer. Boy, I tell you, I, I celebrate every time I do that. Got a really good lead on this crowd, and there's another miss. But you can see, even at relative distance, you get it in the head with 240 or whatever it was uh, damage. You're going to delete the people. You're going to de-res them. 
their pixels are going to Jupiter virtually. After this game, stick around for the second game because that one was a corker. It's in Paris. Much better scenery. Ah, I dropped on that. I'm, ah, I'm saying there that I can't complain because I put out proximity mines. Got the knifer, and he got me again. So usually I'll use a shot, shotgun, uh, the Lockwood, the 680, if, there's a, if there are a lot of knifers. But the tire is good enough. Because even with a shotgun, you're going to hit a knifer that's been camping and runs up behind you or one that's just running around and somehow gets in your 6 o'clock position, the most dangerous position when you're flying a fighter for the enemy to be in. If you're coming head on or even at an angle, you're going to delete the knifers. Say he came from behind, but he got deleted on my proximity mine. That he, I owed him that one. So Grandpa's got a good lead going. This weapon, move fast for a powerful weapon. And uh, one shot to the head. And another headshot, aim with your feet. You always aim with your feet. Long distance, ha hoo ya. Do a little dance. Get down tonight, ha. So this next one, like I said, is a cork. I didn't hear what those people were saying. I'm sure they were bad-mouthing poor old grandpa some way. That was an upper torso shot there, and it was a one-shot gack. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better. I think we're going to Paris. Free-for-all, don't have to worry about anybody but myself in free-for-all, and I play solo a lot. I do like to team up with my son and his friends. Deleted. So somebody feels comfortable, they got a straight shot coming at me, and it's an insta-kill. It's a hit scan inside the effective damage range. So as soon as you pull the trigger, they're dead. Took two on that one. But one in the head leaves them dead. I'm a poet and don't know it. There, I know that there's somebody in there. So I'm going to come back around, get my own junk, and see. Yep. I think that was the king. I think I've killed him. That was Elvis. I think I've killed him three times going back to that same spot. Somebody stepped on proximity. There's Laura Croft or whatever her name is. Feel bad about gacking her, but it's got to be done. Someone else would do it if I didn't. Aim with your feet. Aim with your feet. And Laura Croft gets her revenge on me. So I'm up by one, and that's the reason why you set the sensitivity at seven. You can see that the slower bullet velocity doesn't make a difference. Oh, uh, poor Laura. Grandpa's building a good lead, and besides, Grandma would kill me. Grandma newbie, would you believe it? She'd gack old Grandpa. There's Laura again. And I had to pull out the superior because I didn't want to reload. I, got, I still had three shots left, so boom. I found that in tight situations, I would rather have the tire than the SMG. Now, if there's more than one person, still the tire. And you'll see that at the end of this game. There goes Laura. Oh, no, that's not Laura. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oop, can't shoot through a marble column there. Whoa. Grandpa's built up a fairly decent lead here. He's kind of farming these people. I, I have a feeling that these poor people, it's not the most difficult lobby I've ever been in. But they're trying. They're not camping. Look at that guy. They're running around. They're running and gunning. So I respect them for that. 
and got out the superior as I couldn't remember how many shots I'd made. Oh, there's crossfire by that guy. He's going down. And, ooh, <laughs> best way to reload, die. Aiming with the feet, aiming with the feet. Oh, oh there's Laura. She can build a montage, shots like that. A sniper montage from the corner. Can't find a way in. They've locked Grandpa out. Yeah, third time's a charm. Whoop. Again, the superior. Grandpa's getting tired. It was a little late at night last night on this, this one. Aim with the feet. And there's the mosquito bit somebody. There's some pink footprints. They stepped in paint. Aim with the feet. There we go. Grandpa's reloaded. He's got 10 GAC lead. He's feeling good. But it doesn't last all, all the time because I was up by about 11 on one free-for-all a few days ago. And I ended up coming in third. Two guys had 29, one had 30. One, two, and there we go. I think the tire jack beholder, one of the most powerful guns in the game. Hey, please like and subscribe. It helps me, helps the family. You should try this one. Give me some comments, let me know. And thanks for suggesting this. Peace and cheers. Stay tuned for Tommy, Captain Tommy, and his tire escapade. Free for all. Eliminate the enemy. All of them.
Mission is complete. Good work.